Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We're gonna be going through my empties, these items I have used up entirely, and I'm gonna tell you which ones I have already repurchased, which ones I am not repurchasing and that you know kind of didn't impress me enough to repurchase. So let's just dive right in because in front of me is actually a lot of stuff and I'm gonna try and not make this video be uh, forever in a day. So let's just start with some hand soap. This does not seem super exciting to most people, but to me, it's very exciting. I was on Pinterest, literally just like devouring home decor and every bathroom that I liked had this soap and that's actually why I bought it. I know that's kind of dumb, but I was like, ooh, it's just like so pleasant and clean and makes the counter space look so nice. And I am not that person that will refill the soap thing. Like I actually have one of them in the bathroom in the studio and it's like rusted around the top and I'm just like, I just, I can't, forgive me. I need a plastic bottle like this, I'll recycle it. This right here, aesthetically, I just think it looks so beautiful. On top of that, it smells so nice. This one is the Aesop Vertiver, Verti, Verti, Vit, Bergamot. Is that how you say it? Bergamot rind. Really, it doesn't smell like anything other than spa to me. Mm, it just smells like, ooh, I'm gonna get a massage. That's what I smell whenever I wash my hands with this. It has little gritty bits in it that dissolve and exfoliate your hands while you're washing your hands. So it's just like, oh my gosh, washing your hands just got so much better. It is a very kind of bougie luxury type of a purchase, but I really enjoy this. And I tend to be someone that's a little bit crazy with hand wash because, and I've mentioned this to you guys in the past, my whole life I have struggled with eczema on my knuckles. And when I use certain washes, you know, Bath and Body Works does not work for me. Most at the drugstore, soft soaps, anything that's really harsh really aggravates the skin there and can dry it out and trigger a response. So I have been loving this. It's so, so good. Speaking of eczema, which uh, I'm not saying this cures it. Let me just throw that out there, but it definitely does hydrate the skin. And for me, it has helped me to uh, not have any eczema breakouts for sure. This is you know, part of what I love about our formula. I am empty of my halo, but I already have. I always have more. Um, I consistently take this every single day of my life. A lot of you guys have been DMing me and you're asking me, do I take two capsules together? Do I take one in the morning and one in the evening? Really, you can do whatever you like. Listen to your body and if you feel great after taking two in the morning, that is what I would recommend doing. If you are testing the waters with how you are doing with biotin, take one in the morning, one in the evening. So really, it's just listening to your own body and doing what works for you because we are all so unique. Like for me, I have a multivitamin that literally is like this big, like it's giant and I have to take food with it. Like I cannot take it alone or I will literally be like over the toilet. So I totally get it for those of you out there that are like, hey, supplements, sensitive stomach, what do I do? Do I take two together? Do I take one in the morning, one in the evening? Really do what works for you is my best answer. And uh, cheers to another month and more good skin, more great hair and more awesome nails. All right, moving on. I have two hair things right here. Rio Geo Blossom and Bloom Ginseng and Biotin Volumizing Shampoo. If you have ever smelt Satsuma from the body shop, then you know how intoxicating that fragrance is. It's so good. It lingers. It's just like juicy and it kind of just like wraps you up in this like yummy summertime citrus, but warm kind of mm, scent. This is the exact same scent, but it is not as synthetic smelling. Like you can smell the more naturalness of this. Like you can smell it's like fresher. You guys know Briogeo is always six free. I don't have a code right now. This is not a sponsored thing. Um, I'm just out of this shampoo and I love it so much. I put this in rotation when I want a little extra clean and volumizing action in my hair. I really like this one and I need more. I need more ASAP. Okay, the other thing for hair, oh my gosh. This is like a love hate, you guys, because this thing is so expensive, but it works so well and it has like like I can feel that there's stuff in there, but nothing is spraying out anymore, which is just like, it's so good. This is a volumizing texturizing spray that really just takes your hair from being like, I'm sad and I don't look good. And you tip your hair upside down, you go do 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 do. And it's like magic spray. You do a little of this, you whip up and you're like, boom, I'm ready for my close up. Like that's what this does. It's so good. And it smells like amber. It smells so just like 
rich and warm. It is not citrusy or fruity like the Brio Gio. It's a whole different feel. And I, I feel like when I spray this, it's also kind of like room freshener because people will come in and they'll be like, ooh, it smells so nice in here. And, and you're like, it's my hair thickening spray. This stuff is so good. Philip B is way overpriced though. That's the only thing is like, come on, Philip B. Why are you like $5,000 for shampoo and everything. Okay, this is actually something affordable from Target. This is the Pixie Skin Treats Hydrating Milky Mist, and this has hyaluronic acid in it, and that's why I plow through this so quickly. I have gone through multiple bottles, and it's just, come on, I'll take it. I love spraying this on me throughout the day to kind of revive and bring everything back to life. And hyaluronic acid just magically veils you with this like attraction for hydration and moisture and really does plump the skin. I feel like I have like little droplets on me right now. We all know what happens when those get on the tail end. It like spurts out more than you want it to. This is just a magic mist for your face. It brings your foundation and powder and everything back to life. And even if you're not wearing makeup, it just feels so nice and hydrating. So this is my favorite one. Pixie has a bunch of these different sprays. Sprays. They have like a glow spray. This one is my personal favorite. Oh, also the other nice thing about these is if you have a setting spray that you really, really enjoy, but you hate the way that it mists out. Actually, I'm gonna do this like on camera. Ah, here we go. A setting spray that is just like the mist on here is not as good as I would like it to be. Oh, you little brat. You can't twist this off. My point is you can fill this with another spray and this bottle, like the mister on here is just like one of the best. It just does that nice like where it's just like almost like steam. It's just like and it's perfect and it doesn't like splatter you or ruin your makeup. Highly, highly, highly recommend this one. I finally got more of my Instant Age Rewind from Maybelline, the neutralizer. Neutralizer is for me the best. They do have a bunch of different shades in their just like regular concealer range, but I find the yellow tone in the neutralizer really cancels out my dark circles. Love that. I went through my Christian Dior micellar water. I'm not buying more of this. It is just, ugh. It's really good, but it is expensive. And I have other micellar waters that I am working on right now and going through. But I have to say, I did really like the pump on here where if you took your like cotton and just like went like this, it just like came out perfectly and there's no dumping of the product. Really like how it dispensed. Oh, I went through this Elemis Smart Cleanse Micellar Water as well. This one's really nice. I've been through like two bottles at this point. I'm tempted. I really like Elemis for cleansers. I actually have their makeup remover right here. I'm considering this one an empty just because I wanted to talk about it in this video. I'm keeping it on my vanity to kind of remove little bits of makeup, but I go through these pretty quickly. I've talked about this before, that this is one of the greatest for removing waterproof eye makeup, liners. I don't know what they did with this formula, but they did something so great where it really just does not irritate, sting. There's no need to tug. It just dissolves the makeup. So I love Elemis for makeup removal. And this again is the White Flowers Eye and Lip Makeup Remover. Um, this one was the Smart Cleanse Micellar. I also, I so fell in love with this, you guys. This was sent to me and I did not think that I would like this because I had tried Shu Umura cleansing oil back in the day when it was super, super hyped up when cleansing oils were first emerging and you were seeing them everywhere at Sephora and everyone was like, oh, cleanse with oil, cleanse with oil. And I tried it out and like my whole face exploded and like tons of acne. So for years and years and years, I was like, not going down that road again. Sorry, Shu Umura, it's not happening. But I tried this one after doing some research Search and being like, okay, well, this kind of sounds great. And I love it. I love this one. This is the Pore Finest Sakura Refreshing Cleansing Oil. So this would be my first step and it would really remove all of my makeup. So you guys have seen that I've used cleansing balms quite a bit. I moved away from those and I was just exclusively using this over the past couple of months. And I think I am gonna get another one. It is really good. It just became like part of my routine. And I am in this phase right now where I am trying to not over test skincare because for the longest time Time, that's what I was doing and I think I was really wrecking my skin by just getting my hands in everything and if something's working to keep with that and this one was working for me and then this toner right here holy moly this is so good you guys this is called lifeline it is a brightening toner it has small 
molecular technology so that the deliverables to your skin can actually get in the skin and do all the good things. This one, I did see a nice difference in my skin. I was trying out some of their serums, but the toner to me is what I really plowed through and really, really enjoyed. And I do need another bottle because it was working for me so nicely. Um, the other thing that's working so nicely for my skin right now, and this is um, kind of newer, this line to me, it was recommended by a facialist and I already have a second bottle of this. It's called the Stem Factor Serum. It's a growth factor serum and this is from Osmosis. I love this. It stinks. You guys, like their whole line is not bougie at all. The packaging is kind of like mm. the scent of it. I'm kind of like, ooh, this smells like baked bread or something. But I'm like, you know what? Like step aside all of the like fluff and all of that and skincare. Like I just want what works. So I really love Osmosis. I'm getting more into their products right now and just kind of exploring them and being really consistent with them. This had been me and James's kind of like holy grail cleanser for the longest time, but we have not reordered because we switched to SkinCeuticals. Um, but this is a great one. This is the Ibuki Gentle Cleanser from Shiseido and it's done. This right here from Fresh, holy smokes, one of my all time favorite, favorite face masks. It is like the nicest whipped texture. Like think of cake frosting, how like soft and like puffy. It just has a little bit of grit where you almost feel like, ooh, there's a little sugar or something in there. It just, oh, it's so dreamy of a mask. I love this. This is the Black Tea Instant Perfecting Mask. It immediately reveals softer and firmer skin. And I scraped this jar. Like I literally was like, please, one last time. I used it yesterday actually. Oh, and it smells so good. Oh, it smells. It smells really fresh. Oh, it's called fresh. I've been through Oh my goodness, probably like three of these and I've gifted these masks as well because it's just one of my absolute favorites and must haves. I'm out of my Morphe setting spray. You, you like plow through this pretty quickly, at least I do. I mean, because for some reason when you're using this, your finger stays on the button and you're just like, hose me down, like drench me in this setting spray. I'll be here for five minutes, cool. And every time you just look in the mirror and you're like, wow, this just made me look so good. Like my foundation is just like, melted into the skin and my highlight and my contour and everything is working together. And there is something really special about this setting spray. I love it so much. I will definitely be getting more. I also went through, I'm so out of order here. I apologize. I went through my Black Rose, really expensive Sicily cream. I'm not repurchasing this. I said last time that I wasn't gonna repurchase this and I did. Ugh. And this time I'm like, no, it's too expensive. I'm gonna stick with some creams that I got from um, Osmosis. Even though this one is really just delightful and beautiful and it does plump up the skin. Um, I'm taking some time away from it just because it's like it's so expensive and I go through it really quickly. Ooh, Jergens Wet Skin Moisturizer. Oh, I miss this. You guys, I'm using a Cetaphil? No. I'm using a really boring one and I'm like trying to get through it so that I don't waste it right now. And it's really, really good. It's an in-shower moisturizer, but there's no fragrance in it. And for me, I'm just like, I kind of miss having like a coconut fragrance in the shower. So I do really want another one of these. Oh, it's just such a treat at the end of your shower to put on lotion in the shower and rinse it off and you just feel like nice, and like I have just taken care of my skin and I see a big difference when I'm consistent with that. I also like using it to shave my legs. This is really random, but I have two things for your mouth that are so good, you guys. Okay, I feel like I'm a toothpaste like connoisseur at this point because I like all the weirdest toothpastes ever. And now that I've tried like Marvis and this, going back to like Aquafresh or Colgate, I just feel like they taste so potent and like sugary and I don't like it. So uh, if you like something strong and super minty, you will die over this. Oh my gosh. This is like the best toothpaste I've ever used in my life. No joke, no exaggeration. Give me all of the bottles. I need them. This is the best toothpaste ever. This has sea buckthorn, cardamom, wasabia, 
It's just, I don't know, it's the best because you brush your teeth with this and it's so minty and strong and then you rinse and you feel like you went to the dentist and had your teeth cleaned. It's just such a nice toothpaste. I really, really love it. I also have the mouthwash and this is like on display with my, this is my bathroom. Oh look, I'm Pinterest. This is the clove bud anise spearmint leaf. Yum. I love clove scented anything. Probably because I used to smoke clove cigarettes. Shame. This is really nice though. It stings a little bit, but if you need that fresh breath moment in your life, it is worth the spend for this. You only need a little, little swish and you are just like, you're good. All right, you guys, those are all of my empty products that I have used up over the past couple of months. If you wanna keep seeing these kind of videos, hit the thumbs up button. I hope you are having an excellent day. If you are not subscribed, make sure that you hit the subscribe button and that you have notifications on. So hit the bell, drop it down to all. I am here Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And if you wanna see maybe this kind of stuff in action, what do you guys think? of a updated skincare routine like in action or pamper routine. I have not done anything like that in so, so long. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. All right, I love you all so much. I hope you're having such a good day, whatever you are doing, and I will see you in my next video. Mwah.